Hello my dear Sagittarius, this is Clarity1129 and welcome to your October 2022 predictions. You're all about expansion. Let's see what comes to you this month. So I hope you're all doing well and this year has treated you kindly. September was good. We'll be using the usual format and we'll take out one card for the overarching energy of the month from the Moonology deck. And we get, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius, wow. We are going to be using the Ethereal Vision Tarot this month. And we are going to be picking out four cards. We'll take out one card for your general outlook, love and romance, career and finance and spiritual growth. So for your general outlook, you get the three of wands, which is the card of Sagittarius again. For your love, romance and relationships, you get the six of swords. For your career and finance, you get the artist. Wow. And for your spiritual growth, you get the Ten of Wands. Oops. We're going to be taking out one card from the Lenormand deck to further amplify or clarify your overarching energy. Something flipped over. All right, and you get lilies. Someone else got this card. Beautiful. <clears throat> and we're going to take our two cards from the tea leaf tarot to further amplify or clarify your um, general outlook. All right. Mm. You get peacock. Beware a great pride. Wow. I just took this out of the last group as well, but you see how much I'm shuffling here and I'm not looking. Uh, okay, what is it that you get here? Man. Dealings or relationship with a man. All right. So this is the basic part of your reading. We'll first finish this before we take out advice cards and anything else that you need to know. All right. So we begin with look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. So you're being asked in this month of October to zoom out of situations which uh, possibly overwhelm you. So what I mean by that is if you are, if you reach a roadblock, whether it's in your career or your relationships or, you know, you're not able to come into balance, you're not getting answers for something, you're being asked to just zoom out, detach from the situation, zoom out and look at the situation in its totality from all angles. And you'll find that you will get clarity on whatever it is that you're looking for. All right. Now with lilies coming along with this, I feel that um, uh, this is, can be uh, talking of great spiritual love. It can be talking about happiness and beauty in your life as well. So whatever, when you do that and you zoom out and you look at the bigger pictures, chances are that you actually see things clearly and what may uh, possibly have at first glance looked as though it's going to be terrible and uh, it's not all that nice will actually uh, show its potential to be of great use or great happiness for you all right so you just need to not uh, judge immediately if you see something which you were not expecting happen 
just zoom out see the larger picture before you take a decision all right on anything whichever area it is in your life now for your general outlook you get the three of wands which is again sagittarius energy you want to expand as your card says expand you want to travel at the same time you're waiting for something for so some of you out there you're waiting for your ships to come in you're waiting for the right opportunity okay for a lot of you you really want to travel and in october you will see that a lot of you will be traveling in october uh, some of you will be waiting to see somebody in october either ways you're going to be expanding in some way during this time and it could be in any area of your life it could be your relationships it could be uh, your your personal goals which you have or it could be your career whatever it is you're looking at things differently you want to just broaden your horizons and that's what you your that's what you constantly wish to do and so you manifest that uh at every stage of your life all right and during this time you're being told that you're going to have a dealings or relationship with a man and beware of great pride so it's possible that during your travels or um, generally you come across um, somebody a man uh, in particular uh, and this man may rub you the wrong way and uh, Sagittarians are possibly the coolest zodiac sign and they don't unlike a leo or an aries they're not quick to tempo uh, but when they lose it they really lose it all right and um, it's possible that this person says something to rub you the wrong way and it uh, hurts your ego at, in some way and you give it back to them all right but it's possible that this person actually didn't mean for uh, it to turn out to be something so bad and actually this person may be someone who's going to be beneficial uh, to you so you are being told to just stay cautious you usually are not the kind who flies off the handle but maybe you're already having a rough day and someone says something uh, which could have been uh, worded better and you just lose it so here you're being told to guard against it guard against uh, you know uh, Scorpio's also got this card and I'm telling them the same thing. You know, when you put an effort to get somewhere and do something uh, and if someone comes and questions you in a way which you feel is, you know, um, there is some sort of derision or a belittling tone to their voice, obviously your pride gets hurt and you want to give it right back. But sometimes people don't intend to do it and they just do it because that's who they are. So you're just being told to not lose your peace over it. Look at the bigger picture. Why did this person say what they did? And did they really mean it in the way that you took it? Or was something else bugging you, which is why you reacted this way? So if you give yourself those five minutes before you're exploding, you can actually save the situation. All right. For your love, romance and relationships, you get the six of swords. So for those of you who are in a relationship or in a, uh, you know, a, a, a new one or in a committed relationship over a period of time or in a marriage, if things have not been going smooth between you and your partner, now is the time that you will be moving to calmer waters. Whatever your differences are, you will be able to sit and talk it out and be fair with one another and move to a place of calm. And for a very few um, percentage of you, you will come very amicably to the decision that maybe you both don't uh, see yourselves moving ahead in the future together and you decide to part ways. But even if you do that, you will be parting ways amicably. All right. So this is what's going to happen during this time. For those of you who are single, who are looking for relationships, uh, Maybe you will finally have closure with your past relationship. So you're finally opening your heart out to other relationships at this time. And maybe during some sort of journey with this three of wands, there is going to be journey for a whole lot of you. So out for my singles out there, if you are actually traveling, you may meet this person while traveling. And uh, this person could be an air sign, especially an Aquarian. All right. Uh, and they may catch your interest <laughs> and we hope that that person is in this person whom you're going to have a nice uh, may uh, have a bit of a tiff with <laughs> oh well 
coming to your career in finances this is beautiful somebody else got this card i don't remember who but the artist talks about creating your own vision all right actually manifesting it bringing it into a reality you are the artist um who can actually mold their profession in the way they want to so whether it's your career your finances if you have certain goals and certain dreams and you have this clear picture in front of you you can actually make it happen the way you want it to happen and you are the creator of whatever now you uh, want to say that isn't everyone like that no it depends on how clear a vision you can have and this month of october you get that vision you will get some sort of a uh, either guidance or an epiphany or something of the sort where you know exactly what you want to do maybe you don't plan way ahead but you just plan for uh, the near future but whatever it is you have a vision and you are able to bring that into a reality in this month of october all right and so you are in a very happy place for those of you who are artists again you get a lot of um, uh, what do you call inspiration during this time all right so this is a beautiful energy as far as your career and finances are concerned you can actually get what you want so you look at the larger picture before you take your decisions and things will work out fine for your spiritual growth you get the 10 of wands so for some of you out there um, whether maybe you're so lost in making this dream happen or in a relationship to make things happen you know to make things smoothly you've been putting in a lot of effort and you're reaching this point of exhaustion sometimes sagittarians are so fun loving they can even uh, get exhausted by having too much of fun or too much of travel whatever it is so you're being told that you are reaching the point of burnout and before uh, the tower moment happens because you haven't taken action it's time for you to put those sticks down and give yourself some uh time to breathe just relax just be with yourself be at peace keep everything else aside and just sit with your energy allow yourself to recuperate from all the effort that you've been putting it whether it's at work or whether it's play or whether it's traveling or whether whatever it is or your relationships all right just take it easy for some time uh recharge and then move ahead again all right and this will always and it's not just for october definitely in october but this is the way it's supposed to be always all right because if it is like this then chances are that um um you know things work wonderful for you all right okay now i'm going to give you one advice card from the souls journey oracle what do my dear sagittarians need to hear and you get imagination wow just look at this i embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind with the artist here and imagination here what more do you need and with looking at the bigger picture this is brilliant my dear sagittarians this is your time to make your dreams come true visualize to the finest detail that you can zoom out see the bigger picture see the whole thing in totality and you can bring whatever you dream into you into being all right um, i'm going to take out one card from the daily crystal inspiration you get you know kai to live in the now so that's lovely so if you have a whole lot of dreams about traveling about journey about doing a lot of things it will come to you let you know you can dream about it but with this card here card here you know kai which says live in the now you're being uh, 
told to not get carried away in planning and uh, you know envisioning everything and stopping uh, i mean and forgetting to live in the now so while you make your plans and while you breathe your plans into reality make sure that you also ground yourself all right and be present in the moment now if there's a time specific question on your mind um think about it and i'm going to take out one month for you and any time between now and that month you'll get whatever you want so the answer is july for you so any time between now and july you'll get what it is that you're looking for waiting for and uh, where is it in your life that you're going to see maximum um um changes in this month of october and you get career so this is beautiful you, your career is going to really uh, take off your career and your finances uh, during this month of october you will see big changes in it all right you will be able to actually uh, take steps towards what you want to do and you will see that it uh, is working out the way you want it to so that's beautiful beautiful energy now last but not the least the angels are getting ready to give you an answer so if there's any time specific uh, not time specific any question urgent pressing question on your mind just bring it to your focus uh preferably not a yes or no answer because as i was telling uh, a few other groups they just two yeses and two no in this whole deck so chances are if you ask another question you might you know frame it in such a way that it doesn't end up as a yes or no so anyway sagittarians this is your answer and it says if you believe wow so you can have anything that you want dear artist if you let that imagination run wild see it clearly and dream it into being because you believe it if you believe it it can happen so that is such beautiful energy and on that note we come to the end of your reading my dear sagittarians wishing you a wonderful october 2022 sorry for shaking the camera and um i'll meet you at the end of the month or the beginning of next month with your november predictions till then be good stay safe have a great time and don't burn out all right bye bye